The Washington Post reports the CDC will propose removing the five-day isolation advice for those who test positive. Instead, people would be able to leave their homes if they've been fever-free without the aid of medication for 24 hours. I think this is really an effort on the part of the CDC to align their guidance with what people are willing and able to do. The five-day rule was really a compromise between the science and some of the other social and economic and political interests. And we as doctors, as scientists, as public health experts, we know that piece very well. But it becomes really murky when you're asking those kinds of experts to also weigh the trade-offs with social and economic and political interests. Dr. Celine Gounder is a CBS News medical contributor and editor-at-large for public health at KFF. She says at-home tests remain a good tool. The way to use these tests, though, to figure out are you still infectious is as you, you know, your fever goes away, you're feeling better, then take the test. If you're still positive, you are still infectious. Dr. Laura Germanis is a member of the health watchdog group, The People CDC. Frankly, there's been no change in the science. Most people continue to be shedding virus for about nine days with a range of six to 11 days. And the more doses of vaccine that you have, younger patients will tend to be infectious for maybe one day less than that. Older patients um, or people with severe disease can shed the virus for a longer time. The CDC has not confirmed isolation guidelines are changing and says we will continue to make decisions based on the best evidence and science to keep communities healthy and safe. Michael George, CBS News.